welcome to Claiming Your Destiny International Ministry. We're Prophet Sharita Berry. We welcome the first time visitors and all our returning visitors. Now get ready for life changing word of God. Come on, let's worship 
with the angels on this morning and let's cry holy. Come on, let's worship. Come on, let's worship him. Come on, let's praise him. Come on, let's worship him. Come on, let's praise him. Come on and give him a Shabbat of praise on this morning. Come on and glorify his name on this morning. Come on and shout hallelujah on this morning. Because truly God is who he said he is. He said his word will not return unto him void. Come on and give him a Shabbat of praise. Come on. We worship with the angels. And we cry holy. Come on. We worship with the angels. And we cry holy. Holy. Come on, let's worship God on this morning. Come on, let's praise him on this morning. Come on, I know you may be a little bit tired, but you got to give God a praise on this morning. Come on, I know you may have just gotten off from work, but you got to give God the praise on this morning. You got to worship him on this morning. You got to glorify him this morning because it is he that woke you up this morning. It is he that breathed a breath of life into you this morning. It is he that allowed you to see a new day and a new hour. Come on. We're almost out of the month of May. Come on. Ain't you thankful for what God has already done? Come on. He's blessed you. He's saved you. He delivered you. Come on. He glorious. He showered down his anointing upon you. Come on. He turned things around on behalf of you for you. He didn't have to do none of that. But because, come on, he loves us unconditionally. Come on. We worship on the Lord this morning. Come on, let's cry holy on this morning. Come on, let's praise him on this morning. Come on and open up your mouth wherever you are on this morning. Open up your mouth on this morning. Don't pay attention to the person to the left of you or to the right of you on this morning. Just cry holy unto God on this morning. Come on and glorify him on this morning. Come on and magnify his name on this morning. Come on and open up your mouth on this morning. Come on, let's give him a Shabbat of praise on this morning. Come on. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the name of the Lord. Come on, Lord. Come on. Come on and praise him. Come on and worship him. Come on and praise him. Come on and worship him. Come on, let's cry holy unto the Father on this morning. God, we just thank you right now in the name of Jesus for bringing us here on this morning. God, move me out of the way. God, my thinking, Lord. God, my mindset. God, my flesh, Lord. God, and you step in, Lord. God, and you say what it is that you want to be said on this morning, Lord God. Speak to declare my lips on this morning, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for the word, Lord God. Your word, God, that you said cannot return unto you void. Your word, Lord God, which is the truth. Your word, which is our our bread and water. Your word, Lord God, that sharp is like a two-edged sword. Your word, Lord God, that does not lie. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, for your sons and your daughters on this morning, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, Lord God, for those that came hungry for the word on this morning. In the name of Jesus, those that are seeking you diligently, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, those that need a word on this morning, those that need to hear your unchanging word on this morning. God, we thank you, Lord God, for everyone, Lord God, from the younger to the oldest on this morning. God, we give you the glory and we give you the honor on this this morning, where glory and honor is due, Lord God, we magnify your name. We shout glory unto you, Lord God. We praise you, Lord God. We magnify you, Lord God. We worship you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Glory to the name. Glory to the name. Come on and worship the Lord on this morning. Come on, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and give him a Shabbat of praise on this morning. Come on and give him a Shabbat of praise on this morning. Come on and give him a Shabbat of praise on this morning. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Come on, you got to get in the mode of worship on this morning. Come on, you got to get in the mode of worship this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There's no way that you should leave this morning feeling the same way like you came. Because God wants to do something on the inside of you on this morning. Come on and magnify him. Come on, stand up and give him glory. Come on, stand up and give him a Holy Ghost wave in the atmosphere. Come on and stand up and give him a Holy Ghost wave in the atmosphere. Come on, if you got to cry out our Father on this morning, cry out our Father on this morning. Come on, if you got to shout out his name, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus on this morning. Come on and shout out Jesus, Jesus, Jesus on this morning. Because I tell you, he wants to do something marvelous. He wants to do something marvelous to him this morning. Come on and praise him. Come on and worship him. Come on and magnify his name. Come on. Oh, bless the Lord at all times. Come on. I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall remain in my mouth. Come on. Don't worry about who's sitting on the left of you. Don't worry about who's sitting to the right of you. Don't worry about who's sitting in back of you. Don't worry about who's sitting in front of you. But you got to praise God and you got to praise your way out. You got to praise your way through, and you got to praise your way up in the name of Jesus. Come on and glorify the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on and worship him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and worship him on this morning. Come on and glorify him. Come on and magnify him. Come on and worship him. Glory to the name of the Lord on this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory. And we give you honor, Lord God, where glory and honor is too. Hallelujah. Today, in the name of Jesus, we're coming from the book of Psalms in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I, I didn't know what God wanted me to speak on this morning, but I give him glory because on last night, while I was asleep, he was speaking to me about Psalm 23 in the name of Jesus. And we are familiar with Psalm 23 in the name of Jesus. And I'm coming from the King James Virgin in the name of Jesus. Psalm 23, and it says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He making me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. His name's sake. Yea, do I walk through the valley of shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with thee. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over, over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Come on. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Surely God is our shepherd in the name of Jesus. He is our shepherd in the name of Jesus. And you don't know the definition of a shepherd. A definition of a shepherd is a person who tends sheep, which is like a pastor or a bishop or those that are in leadership. God said he is our shepherd on this morning. He watches over us on this morning, not just this morning, but he watches over us each and every morning. He said he is the shepherd. Come on, he is the shepherd. So if he, God is the shepherd, we are his sheep. Come on. And what does a sheep, a shepherd do? He watches over the flock. He makes sure that each one of the flock is accounted for. And if, if any flock goes astray, what does a shepherd do? The shepherd goes out into and find that lost sheep in the name of Jesus. Come on, glory to the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. If one of us was to go lost, and then God goes out and he finds us. He knows where we at. In the name of Jesus, because he said, if you draw not to me, I draw not to you. He is our shepherd. He goes out and he seeks and he finds us when we're down and we're out. When we fall, God picks us back up. That's what a shepherd does. He picks his lost sheep up. When a sheep gets hurt, when a sheep gets battered or wounded, come on. When the wolves try to come in and try to suffocate the sheep and try to steal one of the sheep, what does the shepherd do? The shepherd fights off that wolf. That shepherd fits, takes up for that wolf in the name of Jesus. Glory to the name 
the left and try to come in from the right. What God does, God surrounds us with a shield. Come on. He surrounds us with the protection so the wolves will not come in. And how many of you know who the wolves are? The wolves are the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Then he goes on. He said, we shall not want. Come on. God said we should not want for anything. Come on. The wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. And we are the just. Come on. He said he will grant us our heart's desires. He said there's nothing, nothing too hard that God will, will not withhold from us. Come on. Nothing that God will not withhold. No good thing. He said no good thing. He said we should not have to want for anything. We should not be lacking in anything. If you know that God is your God, if you know that God is your Father, and you're in the earth and you're lacking in something, you go and you take it to God. Because He said, "We shall not want." Come on, when God is our shepherd and we are His sheep, we want for nothing. We want for anything because God said He provides. Come on, He's our Jehovah Jireh, our Jehovah Nisi, our Jehovah Shalom. Come on, our Jehovah Rapha. Come on, he makes ways out of no way. So when he says we shall not want, when you don't even see a way, God is making a way. When you don't even see, when you don't even know, in the name of Jesus. When you don't even know how you're going to do this and how you're going to do that and how I'm going to do this. Lord, I don't know. And Lord, I don't know. God said he is your sheep. Shepherd, you shall not want. God is a God that is always on time. Sometimes he comes just on time. It could be the 12 midnight hour, but he's always on time. When the sheep gets lost, when we're lost, God always tries to find us. Come on, when the shepherd goes out to find his sheep. And he's caught in a tangle. He's caught in something. That shepherd is right there to untangle that situation. What makes you think that God will not untangle your situation? What makes you think that God will not come in like a, a roaring lion? Come on. Come on. God is your shepherd on this morning. Come on. He said he makes me to lie down in green pastures. Come on. Do you know the definition of green is a pastures? Come on. It is a, a land or a plot of land. It's nothing but green grass all the way from point A to point B to point C to point D all around. Come on. It's something where the, God, where the shepherd takes the sheep to the pastures to feed on the grass. God said he wants us to lay down in the pastures. Come on, he wants us to think about him. He wants us to dwell on him. He said, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto him. Come on, if he takes us to the pastures and you lay down in a green field, come on, there's nothing but green grass all around, wild flowers, a couple of trees maybe here and there, but they're all the way off in the distance, but there's nothing but a clearing of green pastures from from the river all the way to the back of, to the river of joy. Come on, and you're lying there. And you're not thinking about, oh, I need this, and oh, I need that, and oh, but you're thinking about, oh, God, I'm seeking you. I'm seeking you, God, while I'm laying down in these green pastures. He leaves me beside the still waters. Come on, peace be still. When he was in the boat with the disciples, and the wind, and the rain was all around about them, and Jesus was asleep. Come on, and they were so afraid, and they were so fearful. Come on, and Jesus woke up, and I can imagine Jesus, look on that face. Come on, and Jesus spoke these words, peace be still. He calmed the water. When God leads us to the, to the still waters, come on. When God leads you to peace, come on, when you've been so bottled up with chaos and confusion, and this mess and this junk, come on, God said, just because we're in the world, we're not of the world. Come on, let lie down in green pastures and let them lead you beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Come on, God said he wants to restore your soul on this morning. Come on, he wants to restore us on this morning. How many of y'all there need to be restored on this morning? How many of y'all there want to be restored? Re 
renewed. Come on, who needs a who needs a jump start? Come on, who battery needs a jump start on this morning? Come on, who needs to get the cables from heaven and let God hook those cables up to your soul and restore you on this morning? How many of y'all need a, a just a light on this morning? Something God needs to come down and light you up on the inside on this morning. Come on, because you're you so down. Come on, you you've been you. Monday through Saturday, you've been dealing with a lot of stuff, a lot of mess, a lot of all this stuff and all this stuff on top of stuff on top of stuff, as I always call it. Come on, and God said he wants to restore your soul. Because right now, you could be one that came in, and you could be down and out on the inside of your spirit, man. Come on, who needs your spirit, man, to have a need a jump start on this morning? Who needs to be, who needs to be juiced up on this morning? Who needs some fruit from heaven? on this morning. Who needs some a, a special anointing on this morning? Come on, if you gotta get up out your seat on this morning and you gotta run around in this, in this building on this morning and you gotta praise him on this morning because God said he's a restore. Come on. He said he wants to restore your soul on this morning. He leads me in the path of righteousness. Come on, righteousness. Come on, he wants to lead you in the path of righteousness. Come on. Yeah, God knows that sometimes we turn to the left and we turn to the light, to the to the right. But come on, he will say he wants to lead you on the path of righteousness. He wants you to he wants to lead you on the right path, not the wrong path. He wants to lead you to the path that will take you into your destiny. He wants to lead you on the path that will take you into the purpose and the plan that he has spoken over your life long before you were placed in your mother's womb. Come on, why would you turn to the left? Why would you turn to the a road that don't lead nowhere? Come on, why would you turn to the to the right? To the road of destruction where the enemy is waiting for you. But God said, if you put your eyes fixed and focused on me, I will lead you on the path of righteousness. I will lead you on the path that I paved out for you. I will lead you on the path that I said that, that I spoke over your life before you were placed in your mother's womb. God had already mapped out your path in the name of Jesus. Yes, God knew that we would have challenges and and different things along the line. Come on, but those challenges that you have should not be tearing you apart on the inside. That's why he said he's going to restore our soul. He's a restorer. He wants to renew. Come on. He knew that we would be, we, we, just like Jesus was persecuted, we, we are persecuted too. But that, that don't mean to go to the left and go to the right. It means stay on the, you're on the right path. Come on, when the enemy... Comes in like a flood. When the enemy comes in like the slurry snake that he is, and try to discredit you and t tell you all kinds of mess and junk and lies, because we know that he's the author and the finish of lies. When he comes in and tell you don't go down that road, because there ain't nothing down there, that means he's telling the opposite of the truth. He God wants you to go down to go down that road, because that road is your destiny. Don't let the enemy tear you away from your destiny. If you know that God has spoken something over you, if you know that God has placed something marvelous on the inside of you, you follow that. You follow that in the name of Jesus. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Come on, glory. Come on, who? I can be the first one to raise my hand on this morning and say, yes, I have walked down the path of the shadow of death. Yes, I have many, many times. Come on. I will fear no evil. Come on. God said we are not to fear no evil. Yes, evil is among us. It walks among us each and every day. It walks among us Monday through Friday, 365 days a week. Come on. But God said we shall fear no evil. Come on. He has given you the power and authority to bind up evil right now in the name of Jesus. Come on. He said, yea, do I walk through the valley of shadow of death? Come on. I walk through the valley. I walk through the shadows. And I even walk through death when the enemy wanted to take you out. Come on. Because some of us that are here on this morning, Satan wanted to take you out in the name of Jesus. He was plotting and planning on last night to take some of us out. But God steps in and he said, not nah, sure. Don't you know that Jesus went down to hell and he took the keys from, of death in the name of Jesus? Come on. Come on. While we were asleep last night, I can imagine the enemy trying to come in and get in a stick. 
Can the name of He said, You are not to fear evil, because evil ain't nobody. Can the name good always persevere? Can the name of good always come out on top? Can the name good always conquer evil? Can the name of He's good always conquer the enemy? Can the name good come on, glory to the name. Glory to the name. He said, Yea, do I walk through the valley of shadow of death? I will fear no evil, for thou run and thou staff. Come on, thou run. Thou art with me. Come on, when you're walking through the valley of shadow of death, you got to understand that God is with you. In the name of Jesus. Come on, he's giving you something. Come on, on the inside of you which is the Holy Spirit. Don't you know the Holy Spirit is a comforter? Come on, it's a comforter in a time of trouble. It's a comforter in a time of need. Come on, the Holy Spirit comforts you each and every day. In the name of Jesus, you got to know when you're walking through some situations, when you're walking through some circumstances, when you're walking through the trials and tribulations of your life, when you're walking through this death valley, when you're going through your wilderness experience, and you're going through your job experience, when you're going through your David experience, when you're going through your Daniel experience, when you're going through your Abraham experience, you got to know that God is with you at all times. Because he said in his word, he will never leave you or forsake you. Come on, and you got to lead, you got to stand on God's word when you're walking through diverse trials and tribulations in your life. When you're going through certain situations. Because I tell you in the name of Jesus, somebody's going to be going through something on next week. And you got to know that God is with you. He said he won't leave you or forsake you. You got to know that that situation that the enemy is trying to take take you through next week, that God is going to turn that thing around for your good, but God is going to get glory out of it, don't worry about how it looks, don't worry about what people say, don't worry about if people turn their nose up at you, but let me tell you what you got to do, you got to praise your way through, you got to praise your way through, you got to praise, 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 worship, 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 and pray your way through, in the name of Jesus, glory to the name. Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Oh. Come on. God said he will prepare a table in the presence of your enemies. Oh, oh. my Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Come on. Whoop, glory, glory, glory. He said a table. He said a seat. He said a table. Come on. Can you imagine a table from this end to that end? And God just lay it out on. Blessings on top of blessings in the presence of your enemies. Because those that talk about you, those that say they, that you ain't going to never amount to anything, those that say you ain't nothing, those that tell you that you ain't anointed, those that say you ain't a, a, God, a child of God, those that tell you you fake as you want to be, those that talk about you behind your back, those that scandalize your name, those that did everything they could do to bring you down, God said he will prepare a table before, before you in the presence of your enemies. Glory to the name of the Lord. Come on, all you got to do is sit at that table. Mm, prop your feet up, put your sunglasses on, sit back in the recliner chair, and enjoy every each and every ride. In the name of Jesus. Come on, he said he will prepare a table in the presence of your enemy. Come on, can you imagine... God will show up, show out, and show off in your life. Glory. How many people want God to do that for them on today? How many people are designed God to show up, show out, and show off? Come on, because you don't need to show up. God said he will show you off. In the name of Jesus. You don't need to show up. God said he will show up. You don't need to show out. God said he will show out. Because when God shows out, every enemy that said they would say something against you, going to be in attendance and going to be present. That's why he said he will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemy. Glory to the name of the Lord. Come on. Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Glory to the name of the Lord. God has showered down anointing upon you on this morning. Come on, he's anointing you for greatness. 
he's anointed you and in the name of Jesus to carry out his work in this land. He's anointed you in the name of Jesus to speak his word. He's anointed you in the name. He, you are highly favored and the, your cup runneth over. You do not have a cup that is half full. You do not have a cup that is empty. I'm here to encourage someone on this morning in the name of Jesus. God said your cup is running over. God didn't open up a window up open up the windows up in heaven and he poured you out a blessing to the point that your cup was overflowed. In the name of Jesus, your cup was overflowed with blessings, signs and wonders and miracles and the supernatural and the ridiculous things that God wants to do for you. Come on, your cup is running over. Come on, I, I know I have desire my cup to be running over. Come on, you don't want a half empty cup. You want a cup that is running over with goodness and mercy. Come on, you don't want an empty cup at all. Can the name up? Cause you don't want to sit at your table and your cup be empty and you're turning it upside down. You're like, okay, God, what happened? No, you want a cup that is so full and overrunning that the point that you got to go back and get another cup and that cup becomes over full, over, overrun, and then you got to go find another cup and the name of the next cup becomes overrun. Then you say, wait a minute, I gotta get a bigger cup. And as you go get a bigger cup, you know those jumbo size cups that we always get when we go to the curry out store and we say, I want a jumbo size half and half. That's just a little joke. And you know you get a jumbo size cup like that. And you say, wait a minute, I gotta get this big cup. But you find out that when when you get that cup, that cup tends to be over overrunning. My Jesus, her overrun cup with goodness and mercy and blessings. Come on, glorify the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I want my cup to be overflowed. It, it's not a big enough cup that can hold all that God wants to do for you on today. In the name of Jesus, he says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Come on, mercy. Hallelujah. A blessing. That is an act of divine favor or compassion. Oh, Jesus. Mercy. Come on, we'll follow you all the days of your life. That's just like favor. It's following you wherever you go. And then a favor will meet you where you need to. We, at your divine appointment, come on, surely goodness, come on, God's goodness, come on, she will follow you all the days of your life, come on, where evil wants to rule, goodness shall over, overtake, where evil wants to prevail, goodness will stomp out, come on, mercy, God's mercy, a blessing, a blessing, divine favor, come on, God said divine favor will follow you all the days of your life. Come on, divine favor. Come on, divine favor. He's showered down upon you on this morning. Divine favor. In the name of Jesus. You, you, I could hear some of you right now. Well, I don't have favor because every time I try to go here and I try to go there. Come on, let me tell you something. You got to believe with all your heart, mind, body and soul that you are walking in divine favor in this season. Did not God say there is no good thing that he shall withhold from you? That means if you don't believe that God will not withhold a good thing, if you don't believe that you're walking in divine favor, well, divine favor will not meet you where you need to be. But if you're one here on this morning and you believe with your heart, mind, body, and soul that, yes, God said no good thing he shall withhold from you. Come on, God said no good thing, no good thing. Hallelujah. You, you, if you believe in the name of Jesus that you have divine favor resting upon you everywhere you go, people just say, here you go. They don't know, understand why they ignore it. But God understand because he just gave you favor. If you go there and, and, you, and you've been trying to do something for so long and it didn't work. But this time you go back and you God may say go back and try it again. Come on, you go back and try it again. Favor, favor, favor ain't surely fail in the name of Jesus. Surely you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. 
you got to know that we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. When God said it's our time to be called up into glory, come on, we will we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Come on. Mm-hmm. Come on and worship him. Mm-hmm. Come on and praise him. Come on and give him glory. Mm-hmm. Come on and praise and worship his name on this morning because truly God is my shepherd. And I shall not want for anything. Come on and worship him on this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on and worship him on this morning because truly God is our shepherd on this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. He is your shepherd and you shall not want on this morning. In the name of he said he's giving you divine favor on this morning. Come on, mercy and goodness will follow you all the days of your life. In the name of Jesus, come on. He said, yea, do you walk through the valley of shadow of death, but you will not fear no evil, because my God said in his word that he is with you. In the name of Jesus, when you go through something, the worst trials and tribulations, you got to understand that God is with you. In the name of Jesus, when you wake up in the morning, when you go about your day, God is with you. And I know some of you may be saying this morning, but I don't feel God. I don't feel God. Well, let me tell you, I had that same experience too in the name of Jesus. And God told me, just because you don't feel my presence, does not mean I'm there. In the name of Jesus, just because you don't feel God's presence, hallelujah, I'm here to tell you on this morning that God is right in the midst of you, in the midst of you right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. When everybody talked about you, when everybody said things about you, in the name of Jesus, how God said he will prepare a table before you, in the presence of your enemy. Glory to the name. Come on, I know I'm, I'm, I'm expecting God to do that for me. Come on, I'm expecting God to show up, show out and show up. Because I know I'm not the only one here this morning that got a, a lot, a whole lot of haters. I got a whole bunch of people that are coming up against me. In the name of, I got people that tell me you ain't nothing. You ain't a woman of God. But I tell you, I say, well, God, I, you know what I say to them? To God be the glory. I keep on let the, I keep letting them talk. Because I know with my God says, as long as you know who God said you are, that's all that matters. As long as you know that God said you are who he called you to be, that's all that matters. As long as you know that God said he put something on the inside of you, that's all that matters. As long as you know that you are a blessed woman of God, that's all that matters. As long as you know that you are a blessed man of God, that's all that matters. As long as you know that God said your children are blessed because you are blessed. That's all you got to know. Come on, because God said when he bless you, he bless your children. He bless your children, children, from generation to generation. Come on, the blessings fall on you, and then the blessings flow down to your children and to their children, children. Come on, that's an awesome thing. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to understand, huh? I tell you that my God is an awesome God. You got to understand there is no way in the name of Jesus that God is going to let you and go to the left and go to the right. Because I tell you, he wants you to pursue your destiny. He wants you to pursue the purpose and the plan that he's placed over your life. He wants you to pursue and advance and take turn to it. He did not say, he did not put you here to just sit down and do nothing. He did not put you here to occupy a seat. He did not put you here to be a bitch. Woman. He did not put you here to just to be a couch potato. He did not put you here to sit around and eat bonbons and watch soap operas. He did not put you here to do nothing and just wander to and fro. But he said, I put you here for a purpose. I put you here for a reason. I put you here because I have a plan for you. I put you here because you need to do what I, I mandated you to do. I put you here because you have kingdom purpose. I said, I got that he put you here to take dominion in the name of Jesus. To take dominion in this earth, in this realm, in 
the name of Jesus. Come on. Some of us, God has called off our places of work. Helen, I know God called me off my job in, in 2008 in the name of Jesus. And I tell you, it wasn't easy. And people said, well, how you do this? How you pay your bills? How you keep the dice on? How you, how you put food in your refrigerator? You got kids and you don't work? How you going to do that? How you going to do that? I said, well, my God said he will supply all my needs. And when I found out the God said he will supply all my needs, I said, okay, God, you want me to do this? Then, God, you better, you, you, you provide, God, and I do it. I am not telling you that it's easy, because it ain't easy. I'm not saying it's so pretty, pretty, because it's not pretty, pretty. I'm not going to sit here and tell you a bunch of crack of lies. Because I'll be lying to myself and be lying to God. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat the word because God don't sugarcoat it to me. So I'm not going to sit here and, 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 and water down the word because God does not water down his word. I'm not going to sit here and lie because I'm going to sit here and, like God be doing, tell it like a T.I. is. Come on, many of y'all, God has called into ministry, but you're so scared and you're afraid because you're like, well, God, I don't know. But let me tell you. God said, if you begin to step out on faith and begin to do what he's called you to do, come on, he got everything else under control. Come on, he's called many of us to, to, to a particular group of people. Come on, but let me tell you, they're not going to get delivered until you begin to get free. Come on, many of y'all he called to, to, to minister the gospel, gospel. Come on, to people, not just women, not just men, not and ch not just children, but to worlds, to nations, to generations. Come on, but how are they going to get free? They ain't going to never get free until you take the first step. God always told me, uh, Sharita, because see, God don't care about no title. He don't care. he don't call you by your title. He don't really care what the what man say, but he knows. When he put it over you, he knows the anointing that you have on your life, but he calls us by his name, by our name. He says, Sharita, you step out of faith, I'll take, the, uh, you step out, I'll take the rest of the steps. You begin to walk by faith and not by sight, and I got you. So that's what you got to do. You got to begin to walk by faith and not by sight. Come on. Just like God is the shepherd and we are the sheep. Conference locked. In the name of Jesus, you got to understand Glory to the name of the Lord. You gotta understand that God is your shepherd. When we when we are the sheep go out in the fields, we're going out in the fields on faith. We're gleaning the pastures by faith. We're we know that God is protecting us when we out in the in the field. When God has called you, He said, "I need you to go all the way across town." And I'm, I'm not talking about the pretty part of town. I'm talking about where the, the game bangers at and where the dope dealers at, where the prostitutes are at. I'm talking about to the places where it's the ghetto, straight up ghetto. I'm talking with the places where the projects at. God said, when you go there, I'll be with you. Come on. He said he, he's your protector when he tells you to go to those places. Come on, I don't mind. I'd be like, God, you want me to go? I'll go. God, you want you want me to go where? You want me to go to the dark places? You want me staying on the corner where the prostitutes at and minister to the prostitutes? God, I sure will. Let me put my tennis shoes on. Let me put a pair of pants, wet pants on. Let me put a t-shirt on, a shirt on. God, let me get my Bible and I'll go. See, this is the thing. You cannot be afraid to go where God is calling you to go. Come on, didn't he not say, Yea, do I walk through the valley of shadow of death? I will fear no evil. Come on, you cannot fear evil. You cannot feel fear Satan because the enemy ain't nobody. He ain't nobody. He ain't nothing but a punk. And I tell him in his face, Satan, you are a punk. You cannot fear him. They, the enemy is more afraid of you than you're afraid of him. Come on, how crazy that is that? You are afraid of Satan, and he's more afraid of you than you than, than you're afraid of him. Let me tell you why. Because God has put some special anointing on the inside of you. He's crowned you with his jewels. He's showered you down with his precious blood of Jesus Christ. Come on, glorify the name of the Lord. Come on. You got to do, you got to pursue, advance, and you got to take territory. You got to take dominion. 
You got to walk by faith and not by sight. You cannot be stagnant in this season. You cannot be sitting around in this season. It's time to get up and it's time to go. It's too much mess that's going on in a body of Christ. I'm telling you, it's too much chaos and confusion running rampant in the churches. It's too much, too many homosexuals, homosexuals sitting on a preaching and on a Sunday morning. It's too many homosexuals that's singing in a choir. And it's too many, it's so many homosexuals that's on a, that's on a prayer team. Honey child, I ain't gonna let nobody with that spirit pray on me, pray for me. It's too many homosexuals that preach, call themselves preachers, bishops, and all. I don't care if they were lying. I don't care if they in here tonight, this morning. They get mad with me because I'm telling the, the dog on truth. If the truth hurts, then so be it. That's called conviction. Get right. Get right now with God. How are you going to stand up there and God has called you, but you got some mess? How are you going to pray for somebody? Don't you know that spirits will transfer themselves to another person? Ain't no way. That's why God always say, be careful who, let, who you let pray for you. Be careful who you let speak into your life. Because I'm I'm telling you, all prophets ain't prophet or prophetess ain't who they say they are. They can prophesy over your life. And they could be prophesying a curse over your life. They could be prophesying to you. And they could be prophesying to you. Because... The, the message that comes out of your mouth. Oh, that says the Lord. And so and so. That's the last straight from the pit of hell. Because God ain't say that. How in the world? You, we, we got to be careful in this season. Because we are living in the last days. There's all kinds of stuff. People rising up. Giving that them self titles and so and so. My name is Prophetess and Prophet Bishop and Pastor so and so and so and so. You ain't nothing. Sit your butt down. How are you going to be a leader in a body of Christ and you Monday through Friday cussing your wife out? How are you going to be a leader for the body of Christ Monday through Saturday? You up in the club dropping it like it's hot. Yeah, I'm going to tell the truth, and I'm going to tell it like a T.I. is. How you want to pray for somebody, how you still dealing with fornication? How you going to pray for somebody, how you still dealing with pornography? How you going to pray for somebody, and you living in sexual sin? How can you, can, let me tell you, spirits don't have to, they don't mind going to the other person. They're transferable. Because you lay your hands on them, that spirit from you will jump on them. You not living right, and you going to pray for somebody, whatever you you doing, and you know it's not of God, will transfer to the next person. Somebody said, asked me last night on a um, they sent me a Facebook message, and they said, Prophet Barry, what's the what's the word? I said the word is get right and get right now, because God said His word does not lie. That's the message. Get right or don't get right at all. It's either serve God or don't serve him at all. It's either you want to put plant both your feet in the house of God or, or you just going to live out there in the world. Come on. Plain and simple. God gives us choices. He gives all of us choices. He gives me. I'm not, I'm not going to count myself out because I'm not no better than the next person. God gives me choices. He see, He always say, it's either A or B. Pick pick which one. Come on. If you draw nigh to me, I draw nigh to you. God says, if I draw nigh to him, he'll draw nigh to me. That's a choice. That's a choice that he gives each and every last one of us. He, get, he, he wants to fellowship with us. Come on. He wants to come in the midst. He wants to go up in your, his presence. Long. To go in, the, in your home. Come on. You got to. God said he's knocking at the door this morning. Will you be bold enough to get up and open it? Or will you just sit there like a lump on the log. And keep on letting the enemy tell you this and that. Come on. God said he, 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 he's right there. All you got to do is say okay God here I am. Come on. I, I, I told someone on last week I think. If God was to really come down 
and to tell you all that he wants you to do, all that he has for you. Would you still say yes? Come on. Gifts and callings come without repentance. Like I said in, in, in latter part, it ain't easy because God ain't said it's going to be easy. Just like Jesus went through hell and high water, we go through hell and high water. Just like the enemy came to Jesus and tempted him, the enemy comes to us and tempts us. But the thing is, who are you, whose voice are you going to believe? Are you going to believe what God says? Or are you going to turn your ear to the enemy? Hallelujah. See, the enemy wants to steal your faith on this morning. Because he knows if you have faith enough to believe that God is going to do just what he said he want to do. Um, come on. He knows it's over for him. But if you allow the enemy to come in and take your faith, come on, he got you. And when I say he got you, he got all of you. Come on, this morning, this afternoon, give it to God. Whatever it is, give it to God. Whatever's on your heart, give it to God. Whatever's weighing down on your heart, give it to him. I know I did the other day, the other night. I just cried out to God. I said, and I just told everything I was on my heart that was so heavy on my heart. I just gave it all to God. I said, God, this and God, you know, Lord, and God. And it wasn't like I was having a pity party. It was like because I really needed to talk to God. I really, I, I needed that one-on-one -on -one with God that night. And he came and he sat beside me. And he said, I'm here, my daughter. I'm listening. See, that's all God does. He wants to hear our voice. Whatever. Whatever. There's nothing. I mean, God. God has been heard at all. That night, I just gave it to him. I just laid it out on the table. I said, God, this is how I, I really truly feel. See, God knew how I, how, how I felt, but he wanted to hear it come out of my mouth. I had to give it to him by confessing it to him. Lord, this is how I feel. God, you know my heart. And he knows each and every last one of our hearts today. All you got to do is open up. All you got to do is open up. He'll come in. If you're broken on this morning, come on. We can stand to our feet. If you're broken on this morning, all you got to do is give it to him. You need deliverance on this morning. And you need God to deliver you from some things on this morning. Come on, whether it be, I don't care what it is. All you got to do is say, God, I need to be delivered. If you know you need salvation on this morning. Come on. Salvation has already been given unto you. All you got to do is receive it. If you know you want to want to be saved, filled with the Holy Ghost, the evidence of speaking in tongues. Come on. It's already right there. All you got to do is receive it. Come on. Come on and give it to God on this morning. Come on and give it to God on this morning. Come on and give it to God on this morning. Come on and give it to God on this morning. If you have a prayer request on this morning, you're welcome to come forward on this morning. Give it to God on this morning. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the glory to his name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Come on, glory to the name of the Lord. 
Come on, we worship you in the spirit. We worship you in the truth. Come on and give it to God on this morning. If you have a prayer request, in the name of Jesus, come on. Come on and worship him on this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's worship him in the, this, this, today. Come on, let's glorify him on today. Come on, let's worship him on this afternoon. Come on, let's worship him. Come on, let's worship him. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Those of you all that, that are listening on the teleconference line or through via talk show, you are welcome to, to bring your prayer requests forward in the name of Jesus. You're welcome to chat, tap, type it in the chat room for those and someone will read it off to me in the name of Jesus. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to the name of the Lord. name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's worship him. Come on, let's worship him. Let's worship him. Let's worship him. Come on, let's worship him. Come on, let's worship him. Let's worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Come on, let's praise him. Praise them on this morning. Come on, let's glorify the name. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, we worship you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord, in spirit and in truth. We give you glory and we give you honor, Lord God. Where glory and honor is due, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, I lift up, Lord God, those, Lord God, that came, Lord God, on this morning to the altar, Lord God. I lift up them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, those that need to be delivered on this morning, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for deliverance, Lord God, that is taking place right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that you're delivering them, Lord God, from whatever it is that they need to be delivered from, Lord God, whether it be smoking, drugs, drinking, Lord God. Sexual sin, Lord God, pornography, fornication, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God. Whatever it is that they need to be delivered from, Lord God, if they need to be delivered from themselves, Lord God, we thank you, deliverance from people, God, being a people pleaser, Lord God. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that the deliverance, Lord God, is taking place, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you right now, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, God, as we lift up, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, deliverance, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, for rod, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, whatever, Lord God, he needs to be delivered from, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you right now, God, that his friend, Lord God, is coming on his behalf, God, and asking you for deliverance for him, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, God, whatever it is, Lord God, whatever he's dealing in, Lord God, whatever he's been dealing with, Lord God, we thank you for deliverance right now in the name of Jesus, God. Touch him, Lord God, from head to toe. 
Lord God, but it's frankly, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, whatever they stand in need of, Lord God, on this morning, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God, because you say you will grant them the desires of their heart, Lord God. We thank you for turning things around on their behalf, God, so that you can get glory, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God, touching them, healing them, Lord God, and if they need to be delivered from some things, Lord God, we thank you for deliverance from them for themselves, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God. We lift up those, Lord God, that came, Lord God, because they want you to come into their life, Lord God. On this morning, Lord God, we thank you, God, because they took the initiative, God. When you said, if you draw not to you, God, you said you draw not to us, God. And they're drawing not to you, Lord God. And they're seeking you, Lord God. Say, Lord God, we thank you for welcoming them in your welcome them in your kingdom, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that you forgave them for their sins, Lord God. And you threw them in the sea of forgetfulness, God. And you remember them no more, Lord God. We thank you for washing them, Lord God, with the blood, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, God. We thank you, Lord God, that they're receiving you in their heart on this morning, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, we glorify you, we magnify you, Lord God. Lord God, for those that came to be filled with the Holy Spirit, Lord God, we thank you, God, with the utterance of speaking in tongues, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, God. They don't have to pray for it, Lord God, but the Holy Spirit is free, Lord God, and they can receive it in an instance, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for falling upon them right now, Lord God. As they stand here, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. We glorify you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Glory to the name of the Lord. We thank you, Lord God, for those that need a healing in their body, Lord God, and a touch from you, Lord God, that you touch and you heal them right now. In the name of Jesus, God, Touch them on the inside, Lord God. Touch them on the outside, Lord God. Heal them, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus for their healing, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, Lord God, for those that came, Lord God, with a special prayer request for themselves or for a loved one, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, that their prayers being carried up to the heavens, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we declare and we decree, Lord God, uncommon favor right now in the name of Jesus. Uncommon help and healing right now in the name of Jesus. We declare and we decree deliverance to fall upon them right now in the name of Jesus. We declare and we decree that whom the Son set free, he is truly free indeed. We declare and we decree, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that no good thing that you shall withhold from them. We declare and we decree, God, that they are blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed coming in and blessed going out. We declare and we decree, Lord God, that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, we declare and we decree, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that they walk by faith and not by sight. In the name of Jesus, glory to the name of the Lord. Come on, let's worship him. Lord God, we thank you right now as we bind up the hands of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, we bind and we shackle him up on this afternoon and we cast him into the bottom of pit. In the name of Jesus, we bind up every one, Lord God, in the name that's being influenced by the enemy or tonight, Lord God, in this afternoon, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we bind up every witch, every warlock, every shoot, every terrier, we bind up every demonic spirit, in the name of Jesus, every satanic spirit, and in every form of witchcraft, in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now for breaking generational curses, God, and you're uprooting those generational curses, God, and we thank you that the curse will end with them, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you right now, Lord God, that you're delivering your people and you're setting them free, Lord God, from yokes and bondages, Lord God. We declare and we decree no lack right now in the name of Jesus. We declare and we decree that you are walking in prosperity in the name of Jesus. We declare and we decree that everything that God has promised you in this year shall and will come to pass in the name of Jesus. Glory to the name of the Lord. Jesus. 
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Come on, let's cry holy on this morning. Come on, we're in the presence of the Lord on this morning. Come on, in the name of Jesus. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Give God a Holy Ghost shout in the atmosphere. Give him a Holy Ghost wave in the atmosphere. Come on, because he is worthy. He's grateful. Come on, grateful is our God. Hallelujah. Come on, giants, they do fall. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Come on, every giant in your life, in the name of Jesus, we declare and we decree that they will fall in the name of Jesus. The bigger your giants are, the harder that God will hit, let them hit the floor in the name of Jesus. Glory to the name. We bind the very spirit of torment in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of trickery in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of loneliness in the name of Jesus. Glory to the name of the Lord. And we cast it into the bottom of pit. In the name of Jesus, we bind up every spirit that does not mean you any harm. In the name of Jesus, and we cast it into the bottom of pit. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for your presence being known in the atmosphere once a day, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, God, surround them with a sure protection. In the name of Jesus, glory to the name of the Lord, Lord God. Glory to the name of the Lord. Come on and worship him. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, go up into their homes, Lord God, on this today, Lord God. Saturate their home, Lord God, with your presence, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, God. Saturate their home, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Saturate their home with your blood, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, glory to the name of the Lord. Glory to the name of the Lord, Lord God. Go in their places of employment, Lord God, and saturate the places of employment, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, come on and worship him. Come on and magnify him. Come on and glorify him. Hallelujah. Give him a Shabbat of praise. Come on, let's worship the Lord. Come on, let's worship the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord on this morning. For he is good, for he is good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord on this morning. For he is good, for he is good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the name of the Lord. Come on, let's worship him. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord, in spirit and the truth. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Glory, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Glory to the name. Come on and worship him. Come on. You got to get in a mode of worship on today. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow will take care of itself. In the name of Jesus. Don't worry about next week, this week that's coming in. Because this week that's coming in, it will take care of, the, of itself. In the name of. Don't worry about what you got to do on Monday morning, Monday afternoon, or Monday evening. Because Monday morning, Monday afternoon, and Monday, and Monday evening will take care of itself. As a matter of fact, tomorrow is not promised to any of us. Hey, but we should worry about today. In the name of Jesus, put your focus on God. In the name of Jesus, not the things that's in front of you right now. In the name, not not the things that's going on around you. I'm sorry, the things that's going on around you. In the name, you can continue to focus on God. In the name of you, keep your eye fixed on him in the name of Jesus. God said he will take care of everything. God, as a matter of fact, while we're here in, in Sunday, God has already went ahead and Monday and took care of those things that need to be taken care of for you. But it's up to you to believe that he took care of it. It's up to you to believe that he already turned some things around. It's up to you to use your faith in this season. In the name of Jesus, God is looking for your faith. In the name of Jesus, glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on and worship him on this. Come on and worship him. Come on and worship him. Come on, let's 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 glorify him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the name of the Lord. We just thank 
God, on this morning. In the name of Jesus, I'm sorry, this afternoon. In the name of Jesus, glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah for the word that was came forth on this morning. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God, for the prayer, Lord God, because we know the prayers of the righteous. Come on, we, we I already know that every prayer is already reached to heaven and sitting before God in the name of Jesus. I have that much faith to believe for you in the name of Jesus. Glory to the name of the Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, you got to have faith to believe in this season because God is looking for your faith. In the name of Jesus, He is looking for your faith. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God on this morning in the name of Jesus. Glory to the name of the Lord. We just have a few announcements in the name of Jesus. Glory to the name. Join us tonight at 7 p.m. as we have um, our special guest speaker coming back tonight, um, Pastor O'Shea Morgan, all the way from Dallas, Texas, from the Outpouring of Life International Worship Center. That is tonight at 7 p.m. Come out for a double dose of, of God's word, because I tell you, you're not, your life will never be the same. Your life will never be the same. Once you come into the presence of God and you allow God to come into your heart, I guarantee when you allow God to come into your heart, your life will never be the same. Glory. Come back and join us. We invite you to come back at 7 p.m. and join us um, with Pastor Prophet O'Shea Morgan. From the Outpouring of Life International Worship Center, all the way from Dallas, Texas, he will be ministering tonight. Um, come be expecting God to bless you on tonight. In the name of Jesus, join us June the 5th at 1130 as we have, we'll have special guest speaker, Pastor, Prophet, Paul, Greenleaf and Lady Green, Keisha Greenleaf, all the way from Shekinah Glory Outreach Deliverance Ministry from Roanoke, Virginia, that will be joining us on June the 5th at 11.30 at our morning service. You don't want to miss a blessing from God. I tell you, God is up to something this season. He wants to do something for all of us, not just me, but he wants to do something for you because I'm excited for your future in the name of Jesus. Glory to the name of the Lord. We invite you to visit our website at www.pydestiny. I-N-T-L-M-I-N. That's www.pydestiny. I-N-T-L-M-I-N. That's www.pydestiny. I-N-T-L-M-I-N. If God has placed it in your heart to sow into the ministry, you can visit us on our website and click on the link that says Sewing into the Kingdom, and you are able to sew via PayPal, which is a secure site, or if you do not have in access to, to the internet, you can sow a seed or love offering to Proclaiming Your Destiny International Ministries. The address is 710 Bacon Street. Durham, North Carolina, 27703. That's Proclaiming Your Destiny International Ministry, 17 Bacon Street, Durham, North Carolina, 27703. If you need to get in contact with us or the ministry, you can do so by email, and that email is Sharita Berry Ministries at minister.com. That is Sharita Berry Ministries at minister.com. Or you can contact the ministry office at 919-937-9838. That is 919-937-9838. Well, we glorify God on this morning. We give him praise and we give him honor for all that he is doing in your life. We're excited for how God is really 
going to bless you all in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for each and every last one of y'all future because I know that God has something in store for you. He wants to bless you. He wants to shine down his anointing, a fresh anointing upon your life in the name of Jesus. Come on and give God some glory. Come on and give him some praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Come on and worship him. Come on and worship him on this today. Come on and worship him. Worship him. Come on. If you don't got, if you can't worship him, let me worship God on your behalf. Glory to the name of the Lord. God, I come before you on today, Lord God, on behalf of your sons and daughters, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, God, I lift them up unto you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, I worship you, Lord God, in spirit and in truth, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, on that behalf, Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, for every blessing, every miracle, every supernatural and ridiculous thing that you're going to do for your people, Lord God, in this season, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, God, I thank you and I praise you, Lord God, for such a time as this, Lord God, for your sons and your daughters, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for the supernatural and the ridiculous things. I thank you, God, for signs and wonders. I thank you, God, for an outpouring of your blessing, an outpouring of your grace, an outpouring of your anointing, Lord God, that's restored upon your sons and your daughters. I thank you, Lord God, for the windows of heaven, Lord God, that's about to open up and pour them out of blessing, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for somebody life was changed on today, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for their life, Lord God, and the God, that they are here, Lord God, in the name of you to do what it is that you command and mandated them to do, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God, as we leave on this afternoon, Lord God, we, we leave in flesh, God, but not in spirit, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you in advance, God, for what you have already done for them on tomorrow, Lord God, I thank you in advance, Lord God, for what you already done next week, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you in advance, Lord God, for that prayer, Lord God, that somebody's been praying, Lord God, for, for a for a while, Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, that you said it is already done, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, that you said it's already done, Lord God, for that person that has been believing in you to do something for their life, God. I thank you, God, because you said in your word it's already done, Lord God. You already did it. You said if it's good, it's good. If it's done, it's done. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, God, that they will have the faith to know that it's already done. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, glory to the name of the Lord. We thank everyone for coming out this morning, and we know it's afternoon, but in the name of Jesus, I'm sorry. We thank everyone that's because it came out today. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, and we praise God for you, and we glorify God for you, and we continue to pray for you all, and even those that are in the back that is receiving prayer on this today. We thank God for them. We thank those that came and rededicate their life back to Christ. We thank those that came and gave their life to Christ. I'm excited because we know that we went souls for the kingdom in the name of Jesus. We give him the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Make in the name of Jesus, join us tonight at 7 p.m. with Pastor Prophet O'Shea Morgan. In the name of Jesus, because I know God has put a word in his belly for somebody. In the name of Jesus, get ready, get ready for your life will never be the same. Glory to the name of the Lord.